Welcome back to the show, everybody. Check out these headlines we have for you. We've got PayPal launching a stable coin, ladies and gentlemen. What is the ripple in the U.S. Department of Energy going on there? We're going to talk about it. Ripple is the, you know about it. Well, who's connected to it? We've got something for you to see. And how about the derivatives market? What percentage will Ripple capture now that they're in ISDA? And could it mean an $1,800 plus XRP? Well, one person and influencer is going to let you see exactly how it gets there. Somebody roll that beautiful intro. Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow us on Twitter and YouTube for exclusive content. Right now, $1.2 trillion market cap for crypto. The market is off 0.41% in the last 24 hours. 29,000 slightly over, 1825 and change for Ethereum. Tether market cap still 83.7 plus billion, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we are. 63 cents for XRP. But boy, have we got news for you. Off by more than 4% on the 24 hour and over 10% loss on the seven day. If you haven't checked it out, don't forget Glint Pay. It is your alternative to the banking system. No joke about it. Full stop. But you know what else? Glint is amazing. Not only have they done what everyone else wishes they could do, they have made gold money. That's right. You can own physically allocated gold and you can use your MasterCard debit card to spend it all day without the bank's permission. How amazing is that? It is insured by the Lloyds of London and there's so many other incredible aspects. And here's another one that is on the realm of becoming real here. It's a crypto bridge. And now that we celebrate the XRP victory, says the CEO, Jason Cousins, he says here, we can start working on that crypto bridge. Imagine a seamless bridge between XRP and gold with Glint Pay because XRP is the only digital asset with clarity in the United States of America. Come on in, click that link underneath the video for Glint. Well, the Ripple fight benefits all of crypto. This is where we're starting today, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Metal Law Man. Everybody knows Judge Torres's decision in Ripple is important. How important is it? The Ripple decision and the proceedings in the Ripple case are cited 13 times by Coinbase in its motion to dismiss the SEC's case. The Ripple fight benefits all of crypto. I tell you, you know, you really can't put into words or overstate just how important and critical that this ruling is for Ripple and XRP. And I want to add, we also want to pay very close attention to the Judge Rakoff ruling in a separate case there, right? And we know that that was a ruling that does not have the evidence in it at this point. But we also understand that because of the Judge Rakoff ruling that is finding to be different than Judge Torres's ruling, I'm no lawyer. But the question I have now is, is simply this. My question is, is does Judge Rakoff's ruling actually make the ruling for Ripple and XRP more exclusive to Ripple and XRP because now a judge is differing in their opinion and ruling. This is a question for the lawyers and I will be tuning in to the uphold spaces that John Deaton will be participating in. Well, one secret weapon here that Ripple has is we can keep XRP everywhere at literally zero cost. <laughs> who else can do that so if a customer wants to buy xrp on demand we can leave it ready for them at literally zero cost we can pre-fund multiple places at zero cost now i'm not going to play this whole clip uh because it's five minutes but you get what's he here being said by david schwartz who really just laid out a lot of really great information for all of us to understand. If you haven't seen the first video from this morning, please go watch it. Please go watch the first video from this morning. 
it is remarkable, the comments from David here. But in this conversation, he covers Prisma, AMMs, Automated Market Makers, Stablecoins, and XRP, and the talk that we just covered here about eliminating pre-funding and being able to pre-fund with Ripple and XRP everywhere, basically, that's needed at zero cost. Who else can compete with that? And here, create your own liquidity pool, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to XRP Drops, who does so much for this community. Automated Market Maker, XRP Ledger. Take a look at how quickly it comes together. But let's go ahead and just create our own liquidity pool. All right, so let's go with XRP, and I guess we'll go with ETH. And then let's just say that I want to do 250 XRP, and uh, I'll do 750 ETH, right? And then here is a trading fee that I'll, I'll just set it to 0 0.025. So let's go ahead and create this bad boy. Wi-Fi is kind of slow, too. All right, great, and yeah, we've created our new AMM instance, and as you can see, we have a new active position in it. So we provided uh, 250 XRP of our own and 750 um, ETH as well, and in return, we got LP token, and as you can see, there's a new entry in the balances. This is an LP token identifier, um, and this is how much we owned, 433K. And there you have it right there. Just like that, you see an automated market maker get, uh, I guess, uh, created right before our eyes. This is what's coming in scale. And the real question is, is what does this look like when institutions move in to hoard this asset? Because it is going to dawn on this industry whether it be supply trade, whether it be the banking financial world, every business model that can benefit from the use of XRP as a settlement token is going to want to have as much of it as they can possibly get for the best price that they can possibly get. I have said multiple times, it is great when someone can use and have access to XRP in the fashion of leasing it and they can mitigate their risk and their exposure. And that's wonderful. But ultimately, for any institution or business that understands the full benefit of XRP is also going to want to hold it directly because then they get the advantage of the asset becoming worth even more over time, understanding that it will be the large financial players who are bringing their liquidity to the network. And they're not dumb. They're going to realize what that really means. So I think at some point we'll realize, and it will be a moment we won't have to discuss very off, very large on topic wise, because what we're going to all know is we're going to know immediately where all of that money's coming from and who's buying up all the XRP. Because really, until we see that happen, we know that the market has not been activated. They haven't woke up to the idea of what this new digital asset will do for their business in the financial world. Well, let me tell you who's woke up. It's PayPal. Today, we are unveiling a new stable coin. PayPal USD, it's designed for payments, is backed by highly liquid and secure assets. Starting today, and rolling out in the next few weeks, you'll be able to buy, sell, and hold, and transfer PYUSD, which is PayPal USD stablecoin. Yes. What's the saying Eleanor Terrett says? First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you. Then you win. And I'll tell you what else I'm seeing here. Remember, where does Elon Musk come from? PayPal. He's one of the original PayPal Mafia members, right? The early crew that had the vision. And now he's just gotten a license for the X platform, which is formerly Twitter. Getting ready to make Twitter a super app, ladies and gentlemen. And at the same time, his old company is now revealing the launch of a PayPal stablecoin. And collectively on the macro, what I'm seeing here is more and more reason for something like XRP, the bridge asset and XRP ledger, the decentralized exchange for the world being necessary. Here's the response here from House Financial Services Chairman Patrick McHenry here in the United States addresses PayPal's launch of its stablecoin. He says this announcement is a clear signal that stablecoins 
if issued under a clear regulatory framework, hold promise as a pillar of our 21st century payment system. That's what we're talking about. And I'm telling you, again, everything I'm seeing is more and more reason for XRP, the bridge asset, and XRP Ledger and the decentralized exchange for the world. The, everyone can have a token. It won't matter, right? Because you can exchange it with the bridge asset XRP. So you're saying PayPal and <laughs> Stablecoin will be more transparent than USD Tether. Yeah, that's what we're saying. They are registering and doing everything they're supposed to do. There's no dodging the government and all of that business. We're going to find out before this is over where USD Tether stands. Because right now, it stands in the shadows. But not this. Ripple and Rocky Mountain Institute. Are you ready for this? Ripple and Rocky Mountain Institute are proud founding partners of Centigrade Earth, a new open data platform that brings increased transparency, trust, and integrity to carbon markets. Centigrade powers the next evolution in carbon markets. Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. Department of Energy is in this too. So now we have Ripple, the Rocky Mountain Institute, and the U.S. Department of Energy investing in centigrade earth for carbon markets, for which, as you remember when we reported on it, Ripple has put $100 million <laughs> into the carbon market sector. It's not going away, ladies and gentlemen, and as well as Ripple letting us know it, so is the U.S. Department of Energy. Come on in. So now we've got Ripple in bed with the U.S. Faster Payments Council, by default the Federal Reserve, which is a private central bank. Now the U.S. Department of Energy, FinCEN back in 2015 or whatever it was, ruled and registered with uh, FinCEN Financial, uh, da, 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 I can't even remember the, the acronym now, but that's really tied to the U.S. Treasury. Look, I tell you, I couldn't be more excited what we're seeing. You guys know you've seen this video. This is a video clip from February of last year where we saw a unanimous vote by everyone, including Gary Goldman Gensler, acknowledged that they were indeed working on solutions with distributed ledger technology to shorten the settlement time for derivatives. Well, when you see that and you understand this clip, which is right here, and I'll give you the last bit of it. Uh, on the division's recommendations uh, to amend the Securities Exchange Act uh, uh, on clearing and settling. Yes. 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 Uh, yes, uh, the recommendation is approved unanimously. And there you have it. And that was last year. And now we see Ripple joined ISDA, the International Swaps and Derivatives Association. Yep, that just happened. That was just two days ago. And then we take a look at this. Sunel Bakshi right here is on the board of directors for International Swaps and Derivatives, known as ISDA which Ripple just joined. Shout out to Cowboy Crypto for this. He also happens to be the president and CEO of Citigroup Global Markets Japan. We know how big Ripple is in Japan, don't we? Yes, we do. i tell you what, this community is something else, ladies and gentlemen. And let's take a look at this, because Mr. Man right here is another one you want to be following. Now that Ripple has entered the derivative space, here is a potential outlook. What the value of XRP would be if it captured just 10% of the derivatives market. Take this with a grain of salt. Uh, look, as of August 4, 2023, the current market cap of XRP is 34.9 billion USD. Assuming that XRP processes 10% of the derivatives market, which is estimated to be over one quadrillion dollars in notional value, we can calculate the following. 10% of one uh, quadrillion is 100 trillion. 
If XRP processes 100 trillion and its current market cap is 34.9 billion dollars, then the market cap of XRP would need to increase by approximately 2865 times. That's a lot. Using the current price of XRP, which is at 66 cents at the time of him making this uh, illustration, we can estimate the potential price of XRP if it were to process 10% of the derivatives market, 66 cents times 2,865 times increase would put it at $1,896.23 per XRP. There, if, therefore, if XRP were to process 10% of the derivatives market with its current market cap, its price could potentially increase to $1,896.23 USD. However, it is important to note that it is a rough estimate. There are many factors that could affect the price of XRP, including market volatility, regulatory changes, and competition from other cryptocurrencies. There you have it. A lot is unfolding here, ladies and gentlemen, and I have a feeling it is going to continue and continue and continue. You know, uh, what I'm really excited about is the understanding, as David Schwartz said in the Twitter space last night, that you could have a currency that is in zero control of any country and have it serve eventually someday as a world reserve currency. And that is what I have always believed about the vision at Ripple for XRP, and I've never stopped. The only thing that's happened out here is that others have stopped and attacked us that still believe it. And you know what? They can keep right on because I got nothing bad to say about them. All I got to say is, is you do you, boo. I'll do me. Not financial advice from me or anyone else. It's just my digital perspectives. I'll catch all of you on the next one.